I gotta lose some weight. I gotta get in shape. <laughs> Who knew making your bed <sighs> get you so out of breath? So you know how in smaller RVs, one of the ways they conserve space is they give you the dreaded corner bed. And I hate the corner bed. And then lo and behold, it just occurred to me after a year and a half of being in this RV that if I just changed my orientation, I actually have a corner bed. <laughs> the difference being where this closet cuts off the end of my bed, that would be the same as where usually the kitchen would be cutting off the bed or the dinette. And then this closet, the part of the bed it cuts off, that would be where the bathroom and the bathroom door would be. <laughs> so check it out, I have a corner bed. And so what I wanna share with you today is what I think is the best and easiest way to make up a corner bed. Because that's why people hate them is like, it's how the flip do you make the bed? You don't have to dread change the sheets days anymore. Okay, so let me show you how I have managed the bed situation. <laughs> so first of all, I brought my mattress from home. So this is a uh, regular mattress, it's a double, and um, it's just the mattress, not the box spring, obviously. And it's, it's been comfortable. Um, then on top of that, I have one of these foam egg crate toppers. This was fairly inexpensive. I think it was like 35 or $40 at Kohl's. And so I was fully prepared for it to not be very comfortable or to crap out on me. And I've had it this entire time I've been in the RV and even at my house before that. So he's definitely going over two years and he's been awesome. Don't ask me why I think he's a he. And then on top of that, I have a little bit of a cushion of my um, of a mattress cover and I'm sure that's not doing much but anyway so that's what I sleep on a regular house mattress this egg crate foam and then a little bit of a padded um, mattress cover and I don't know that it makes any difference but every week when I change the sheets I will flip this around and and then put it back and it's a little hard in the RV but every six months or so <laughs> it's I should I should definitely make a video because it's hysterical I turn the mattress around and this room is barely big enough to contain the mattress so it's it is quite a feat of physics kind of is reminiscent of trying to get the couch through the house door when you're moving but I've done it at least two times since I've been aboard and another part is I have my comforter it's a very lightweight comforter so I can use it both in summer and in winter and I got a reversible one so that's you know I can change the colors which I do you know flip it around and um, I got it at my favorite store Walmart and so here's the basics of how I change the sheets and what I do. Okay, first thing I do is I pull the mattress away from the wall as much as I can. I get stopped by the sidewall. Okay, so this is what I do with my comforter that makes it easy. So notice about where it is, about here it's about a third of my mattress <clears throat> and I will just well, I can see some things are gonna fall hopefully they're falling out of frame okay so I get the corner and I do that I don't have to work out because once a week I have to do this serious workout once a week to make my bed and then I don't have to do anything for a whole week to 10 days. All right, 
then bring this back down. One of the things that helps is that my bed and everything is double, is a full size, but my sheets are queen. It wasn't done on purpose, but it was because all the cute styles of sheets, I couldn't find them in a double. You all know how to put, <laughs> Whew, you all know how to put sheets on. Um, but all the cute sheets that I found, I couldn't find them in a full or a double. So I got queens and it's just another one of the happy accidents in my RV life. All right. Flat sheet on, or a uh, fitted sheet on, sorry, fitted sheet. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> I'm telling you, it's exhausting. Okay. Okay, next is the flat sheet. And see, look how cute these are. Has little, can you see that has little campers on it? It's, these are from Camping World. My mom bought them for me. All right, let me see if I can show you what I do here. So, I put the, I put the design, I might have to take the camera off of there. So I put the fold over part right at the top. And I pull it down, pull it down. I also don't leave very much on this end. I'm gonna tuck most of it in on the other side. Okay. So here's the stuff I wanna show you. Is I just do a lot of this fold over method. There's your fitted sheet. Okay, there it is, fold it over. Okay. So then, uh, hold on. I messed it up. Okay, see, so it's all folded over. So then, you just pull this back. And you pull it back far enough that you can just tuck this all under. Okay. And voila. And then, if your mama taught you how to do hospital corners, do a little hospital corner. I do it at the at the foot. I don't do it at the other end. Hold on, hospital corner. Hospital corner goes like that. And then like that. But the main idea is that I'm manipulating the topper by folding it. Okay, now, I like to be in colder weather, so I have a really cool blanket. I gotta go get that, be right back. Here's another happy accident. This was just, a blanket I got that I like the pattern on this side but it has fleece and I have found that this makes my bed nice and soft but also keeps it warm and uh, helps me out on those cold nights I don't have to run the furnace or even the wave heater because this really makes my bed nice and snuggly and toasty and I'll show you, I'm, this is how I do everything. I line it up with the edge and fold it over. And the reason I know how much to fold it over is because, because on that end, I've got it positioned so that it goes nicely with my sheet when I fold it over. So I put it that way. Okay, so back to this part. Again, just folding it over. And when you're not trying to do this and film it at the same time, it is not that hard. Okay. All right. So now I've got my fitted sheet, my flat sheet, my winter blanket. Now this one, because we all have comforters, so this one's got a little trick to it. So. Here's the trick. So remember, it's already folded under here. So 
so I just straighten it out. So here's the part, if I get it right, I will have a beautiful bed for the whole week. So here's the comforter, right? And it, it would go further because it's a queen, not a double. So what I do is I, I actually have folded it in half, like I showed you. And then, can you see this? I've just folded it under and voila, there is the bottom of my bed. Got some hairs here and I'm crawling around up here. So there's my little warm and toasty blanket. Here's my little lightweight comforter, right? Here's holding it over. Remember, I've pulled it out, so I'm really tight on that wall. Okay. And then, I did this a little prematurely, but similar to the bottom, you know, this just extended further. It's longer than the mattress. So again, I just fold my topper over. So now, if I wasn't in the way, which I'm hoping I wasn't, now that whole side against the wall is good, but I'm still not going to push the mattress all the way back yet, because I got one more trick up my sleeve, and this is worth the wait. <laughs> okay, just wanted to take another opportunity to show you how cute these sheets are from Camping World. Even though it's a trailer, isn't that still the cutest? Okay. Side tip, this is an extra little blankie that sometimes I sleep with under the sheets if I need a little extra warmth. And so just to make it easy to get to, I just put it at the, the far side of my, of my pillows because I don't sleep on that side. I sleep on this side, but that way it's easy to reach. It's normally stored under the bed where I have really great storage under there, but it's kind of a pain to get at. So, okay, so I have a, this is my bedspread and I have a, a thin bedspread, like almost like a, like a quilt. Okay, and see how it's all folded? That's, cause that's how I took it off the bed. But basically here's what I do. The mattress is still pulled away from the wall. I know because I've got a design on here, what's the best length. So I kind of do it on that plaid angle right there. If you had a solid color, you'd figure it out, but it just makes it easy. Actually, that's a little bit too long. Let me come up a little bit there. Nope. I was right. <laughs> and all I'm doing over here is the top. Is that the top of the pillows? What's left over is here. And all I'm focusing on is this end of the bed right now and you just tuck it down. Now mainly, the main area is against this wall. This is where it's all predicated. It's kind of hard when I'm sitting on the bed, but whatever. Okay. Tucking it down. Okay, I am just pushing all this down against the wall. And making it nice and neat and tidy. And now I'll push it against the wall. Okay. I'm gonna wait for this to stop having my knee prints. Well, so let me finish making the bed, right? Okay, so now I put these guys on. I'm just sort of whew, doing that crap ass. I could make it look nicer. You guys know uh, Shelby and Wesley. 
who you haven't met yet, and you will at some point, uh, is my previous two Eskimos, Willow and Kyle. And so these two guys, they represent Willow and Kyle. And so Willow and Kyle are always on the bed. Okay, ta-da, there's my bed. Now, what I wanna show you is how easy it is to make the bed every morning once I've done this once a week. So, pretend it's nighttime. Okay. Those guys off. Stack these guys in the corner. Okay, this is what this was all for. Watch this. So it's nighttime. Fold it over, fold it over, and I can go to sleep. Now I actually put a, a sheet, a dog sheet on top so that the dogs can sleep up here with me and not get dog hair all over everything. Okay, so now pretend it's the morning. Look how easy it is to make the bed. And of course it would have gone quicker if I wasn't futzing with the pillows and the stuffed animals. There you go. I hope that helps you have the easiest time making up your corner bed. Just think of it as an investment once a week to 10 days to do all that folding, climbing stuff. And then your bed's awesome and it's like nothing to make it every morning. I gotta go sit down. Hey. Maybe I could lay down. <laughs> and so that's it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If I wasn't clear about something and you have any further questions, just uh, ask me in the comments below. And if you wanna see more of my videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you hit that bell notification, then you'll know every time I post a new video. And before I go, I just want to remind you that wherever you are today and whatever you're doing, I hope you remember to have some fun and to make some memories. And if it isn't too much to ask, could you tell at least one other person to come check out Rome Town Girl on YouTube? Thanks.